I hit every freaking red light possible on the way to drop this off. Ew, he's compromising the food quality of people's order. Shut up. You turn my headphones up. Trippy. Trippy. I don't give a shit about number money. Cash. Yes, sir. Live and you learn. Grind and you earn. Bitch, I'm on fire. I sit and I burn. Good afternoon. It is Friday. And we are back at it. And hey, man, it is still hot. I did not plan on recording today, but the day started off so freaking good. Sitting at 175 to start the day. And we got our first one for the dinner shift, man. This Meyer, $22, 11 miles, 16 items. Doesn't really make much progress in getting us to the east side, but what can I say? I'm just a sucker for a $20 order. <laughs> but uh, let's see what we do today, man. Today, I think we can do 400 today. I think we can do 400. But uh, let's get this shopped up. Hopefully we can stack this up with the Uber Eats and really get this thing flowing. I uh, usually hate accepting another shopping order when I'm checking out, but um, this route is just a little bit too easy to do, so that's why we went, to go, uh, went ahead and accepted this one. Two things I'm working on today, man. I was re-watching my last couple videos on the TV screen, and I noticed I move my head an awful lot when I'm talking on the way to these restaurants. So today, I am working on not moving my head so much when I talk but it's so hard because I'm a hand talker I talk with my hands I use my gestures so yeah be rough man it'd be rough to hold this neck still <laughs> we got both of these man let's go ahead and get these dropped off guys i'm so discombobulated right now i got too much shit in my pockets i got my second phone my ear pods my gopro my glasses case and uh it's hot i don't got no connection i don't know how to get out of here but that customer added ten dollars on that man so woo, that is lovely if we could just find out how to get the hell out of here then we'll be good and you know i did get another offer on uber eats uh, Taco Bell that was on the way to dropping off this DoorDash that I could have stacked it but obviously as you guys can see with my struggle to even get out of this neighborhood I don't know where I am at <laughs> so we about to find a place that we got an internet connection and finally get the hell out of this maze over here on the west side Look y'all, I'm not ashamed to say it. I took this order on Uber Eats because I needed a GPS to get the hell up out that neighborhood. Cause my Google Map, my Apple Maps was not working. But yeah, man, <laughs> we got $9, six miles. It's gonna drop off in Independence, which is where we live. So we'll definitely be able to find a freeway from there. There's people waiting in here though. Hopefully it's ready. Okay, thank you. Okay. That might be the first local Chinese joint that I ever went to that clearly <laughs> they don't got it together today. It looked like that's the only lady working in the kitchen, but we got it. So let's go. And we got our next one. We are in the zone that we like to be. We got this Tres Porteos, $22 for 11 miles. It is dropping off all the way over in Chesterland. But y'all know I'm a sucker for that $20 holla, so I had to take it. It's gonna be all freeway. And once we drop this off, man, we'll just turn the DoorDash app on in the Cleveland Heights zone and see what's going on. But uh, let's pick this thing up. It should be ready, man. I don't think many people are trying to go to Chesterland. The 
Cash and Uber Eats gods got my back today, all day today. Every time I have a drop off in a precarious area, they have sent me a great order, taking me back to where I wanna be. And so it's the case here. We're in Chesterland, Cilantro, 875 for eight miles. And the train's dropping off in a plaza where there are restaurants over there in the Mayfield, in Mayfield Heights. So, excellent. How you doing? Uh, picking up DoorDash. I got an order for a rye or a ray. Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. All right, the orders are flowing over here in the Cleveland Heights zone. We got this tropical smoothie, which I did not even know there's a tropical smoothie cafe here. It must have just opened. Nine dollars, three miles. It's gonna take us to Legacy Village, which we like. So let's see if this thing is ready. If they doing their thing up in the Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I'm picking up a uh, DoorDash is over there. Samaj. Okay. got it together just yet. <laughs> we on the way to drop this off. Been a while since I've been up in here, man. Got this Cheesecake Factory, $11, four miles. What's this? A decline? It's just two slices of cheesecake. And I got the notification saying that thing is ready. So it's just about getting somebody's attention, man. But uh, let's go ahead, let's grab this and snag it up. That's me? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, already did. Yeah, I still I still hate this place. I still hate this place. I just really wanna I just really wanna ask somebody. Why the hell don't y'all ever, ever have anybody over in the third party delivery mobile order pickup area? Why? It's a Friday night. It don't make no damn sense. Oh, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit salty because this Uber Eats order came up while I was in that funky ass cheesecake factory. But since I didn't have a connection and I wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi yet, I couldn't just drop this damn cheesecake and take that instead. So I got stuck with this stupid ass cheesecake. <sighs> Let's go drop this off. For robbing. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Okay, we here for our next one at the Brio to pick up some Mr. Beast Burger. $14 going five or six miles. It's gonna take us back into the Bedford Garfield zone, which you know what? We are fine with. It's been cool over here in Cleveland Heights, but man, we, we'd rather go back to where we was. Uh, let's see if it's ready. This restaurant's slow as hell too. Yeah. I'm picking up for John. It's like a Mr. Beast Burger order. Yeah, they're working on high. Okay. All right, y'all. Mr. Beast Burger is in hand. But, but, we got a potential banger on Uber Eats that we about to go see if it's real. This black box fix right here. 3903 for three miles. We about to see what's up, man. I've never, I've, the couple times I had these high orders at Black Box Fix, they've been real. Please tell me it's a real one for Aiden. Yeah, it is, and he got two bags. Ooh, 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 yeah. I'm a happy man now. Yeah, this is a $92 order. It's paying $39, all right? <laughs> Have a good one. Let's go, y'all. I got an order 
for Aiden. I hit every freaking red light possible on the way to drop this off. And I'm hitting the red first thing smoking on the way over there is a red light. Right now we are scheduled to be there 10 minutes after the drop off. I just need to shave a minute off of this damn. Let me pause this Uber Eats app. I need to focus on the road, man. But yeah, yeah, every red light on the way here. And then first, first light on the way to the to the DoorDash red light. No contract violation thing. God, we done hit, we hit at least 18 of the, of the 25 possible red lights <laughs> en route to um, between those two deliveries. Lord Jesus, and then the apartment, the elevator was moving so slow. But no contract violation and ooh wee, this actually might be the order that we take that's taking us home. I'm gonna put it on the screen for y'all. I'm not gonna take that, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait for something else. But um, yeah, we we back in the Bedford Garfield zone, we about to head to the spot. So see what uh, the rest of this night end up being, man. And oh yeah, for the peanut gallery out there, the man's food was still nice and hot. Had it in my hot bag the whole time. So, um, yeah, I know there's gonna be a couple of y'all. They're like, ew, he's compromising the food quality of people's order. Shut up. They got hot food. The man was happy with his service. All right, y'all, I thought I was about to get to chill for a second. And right when I got to recline in my seat to wait for the last order, we got this Village Square, $7, I mean, seven, yeah, $7, one mile. I was hoping it was something big. It's not, just one pizza. But uh, we'll do this real quick, and then we'll go post up one more time, and hold up. They closed, dog. <laughs> We got what looks to be our last ones of the night. I was hoping to get one pickup, one drop off for $21.75, but I'll settle for three pickups here at Condado Tacos, three drop offs headed towards home. Yeah, it was a lot of Condado orders coming to the phone, so I'm a little bit afraid that uh, it might be a mess up in here. But we about to walk in and pick it up. The last drop off is over in I think Warrensville Heights, which is about a 12 minute drive on the freeway to get home. So we might look for one more, but let's go snack this up. I got three, Robert, Matt, and Jesse. All three ready, awesome, thank you. Okay, y'all, uh, as if I didn't need to test my wits more. <laughs> this popped up on Uber Eats, bruh. 
It's Popeyes and some other place called TD Kitchen Gourmet. Gourmet Kitchen. This Popeyes have been circulating and I've declined it a couple times at $35 and $45. So I know, you know what? <laughs> why, why even do this to myself? I, I, I don't even think I should do this to myself. Let me see, Taylor got the TD's Gourmet Kitchen, which that might be the real one. Okay. So, and then I think Taylor's the first drop off. We are gonna go ahead and try this because I think the TD's Gourmet Kitchen might be real and I think it's still gonna pay out really good. But I'm pretty sure the Popeyes is gonna be trash. <laughs> but we're gonna find out. We're gonna see what it is, man. We're gonna see what it is. Let's go to Popeyes. Uh, I'm just picking up an Uber Eats for William. Okay, thank you. All right, we're here at TDs for the second one. I ain't never been here before, so I have no idea what to expect. But let's see. How you doing, man? I'm picking up an order for Taylor. Taylor. Um, <sighs> okay. Thank you too. fantastic hot ass day I mean man almost a whole day went like perfectly we and here here's the thing about today I mean yes we got some like high base pay orders today on Uber Eats that propelled us to 400 but it's not like we got like catering orders or anything like that today we everything just went like everything except for like maybe one hour went so perfectly like we, 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 we did not sit around, hardly sat around. Anytime we had a drop off in an area we didn't like, we always got a great order to get us up out of there. Hey, Uber Eats with those high base pay offers. I don't, man, man, y'all better put some respect on Uber Eats name. Like I said in the last video, I already see, I already see some of y'all, some, some of the content creators jumping on the wave, on the bandwagon that I've been trying to tell y'all about for a long time now. Uber Eats, man. Uber Eats lets you be an independent contractor. Their base pay structure is driver friendly. Yes, you're going to see $1 base pays and stuff like that every now and then. Yes, if the customer tipped really well, the base pay that Uber Eats offers is not going to be shit but it makes up for this if they make up for it yes you don't get the funky ass three dollars no more on the canceled orders but man you get easy easy 30 40 dollar orders on uber eats also on the flip side you got to take the good with the bad and um i just i feel like man uber eats offer is this the good that they the good they offer really good stuff and the bad stuff, I feel like it's a little fair. I don't know, man. <laughs> $400 today 
Today was a good day, man. Today was a good day. Minus the Cheesecake Factory pissing me off. And minus that Amazon building, man. Oh my God, they gotta get that together. We had a good day, man. We had a good day. Good Friday. But um, we, we still gonna be at it Saturday and Sunday trying to hit that 2K. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna hit 2K this week though. I, this, earlier this week, we didn't really work like, I, I've only had like a couple days where I could really work like I wanted to just because of um, the stuff going on, wifey in the hospital, which speaking of wifey update, she is home, but um, there's gonna be more stuff that she's gonna have to do going forward. Um, and if she's going to get like a, a, a procedure to help with to help with the not blood clots, she don't have blood clots. But um, man, I'm terrible. <laughs> I don't know how to really explain it. But in the end, she's going to have to be on blood thinners after everything's all done. She's got a lot of blood building up um, behind her behind her eyes and her head. So um, what the hell is this truck doing? The truck is trying to kill me, bro. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. T today was a good day. Today was a good day, man. But I don't even know. My brain is scrambled. My brain is just scrambled and fried, y'all. It's scrambled and fried. I got some cool stuff going on. I'm going to be going live. I, lives are going to happen once a week. Going forward once I get back on my regular schedule. And then anytime I, I have the need for an emergency live, like I had last night, because I got that loke, man. Yeah, we got that loke with the Excessive rate, but damn, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Thank y'all for making this part of the video. I appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all, all that. Comment in, liking, subscribing, sharing, man. I appreciate it to the bottom of my heart. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.